Welcome to the 118th edition of Pod Universal, India's first and leading pod magazine published by Prime Point Foundation. I am KC Nivasan, editor of Pod Universal, welcoming you to this show. In this edition, we will be interviewing Mr. Aravind Tyagarajan, a young engineer and scientist who has more than 40 patents in his name. While everyone finds reading, music or games as their hobby, this young Aravind finds innovation as his hobby. While he was studying in Anna University, Chennai, he had many opportunities to listen and interact with former President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Inspired by his interaction with him, he has stated that all his innovations. According to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, national economic development depends on innovation and technology. Aravind Tyagarajan does the same thing with the aim of making India a developed nation by 2020. Before meeting Aravind Tyagarajan, please listen to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, recorded by me in February 2008. National economic development is powered by a competitiveness. The competitiveness, in turn, is powered by technology and innovation. Indian industry has to build international competitiveness there is a direct relation between the innovation index and competitiveness index. Today, India ranks 48 in global competitiveness index and 23 in the innovation index. The Indian industry has to work to achieve the ranking below 10 in respect of the global competitiveness index. That's my view. This will need enhancing the innovation and also investing in research and development to generate technologies locally. Aravind Tyagarajan now has become a serial inventor on the lines suggested by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Aravind has also assured to help the young innovators to guide them for patenting their innovation. Now let us listen to him. Welcome to the Party Universal Show, Arvind Tyagaraja. Congratulations at you are one of the serial inventors of India. I think you are having more than 40 patents in your name. What inspired you to go for innovations and uh, register your patents globally? I think my first primary inspiration was my mentor, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, and I was fortunate when he spent uh, two years in uh, the university where I passed out from. It's called Gindi Engineering College, part of Anna University in Chennai. So he used to give a lot of talks and inspire all of us as youth to actually focus on innovation and then file patents and protect our IP and so on. So that was my initial inspiration. How many patents do you have till date and what are the areas in which you have patented? Uh, honestly, I've lost count of the number of patents I have, but uh, it's actually focused on both biomedical applications, a lot of medical device ideas, algorithm for signal processing on medical modalities, as well as uh, imaging. Got a lot of patents on uh, image compression algorithms and uh, related applications for archival storage, transmission, and retrieval of such images and so on. And I also have a few other patents on mobile technologies. And my primary expertise is on signal processing and algorithm development. Uh, recently you introduced a product also uh, for uh, detecting cardiac problems. Can you say briefly about something about that? Yeah, this product is called as HD Phonodoc, where actually it is like an audio-visual stethoscope which actually acquires your heart sounds and it also gives you a visual display. And once you press the button, it analyzes the sound for about 10 seconds and uh, it actually gives you an interpretation whether there is a murmur present or not. And based on that, you can take a printout and give the output for the patient. Is it the first of its kind in the world? Yes, it is the first of its kind in this world and uh, we actually have worldwide patents for this product and we also have regulatory approvals for this product to sell in US market as well as in Europe. Do you think that uh, Indian uh, scientists or youngsters, they have got the capacity to go for uh, hardware invention? Definitely they do because we are known to be a powerhouse in the software field but uh, as our ex-president uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam always believes, 
that India should also be a, a powerhouse in the hardware space. And definitely with all the recent developments happening in our country, there is a lot of scope for hardware manufacturing as well as innovations in the hardware space in India. So I think definitely there is a lot of scope for youngsters to focus on these areas. There are quite a lot of youngsters I see that who are interested in more in innovations, but they like a lot of guidance. Do you have any suggestions for them? I think uh, it's just uh, patience and persistence that is going to be the key. They have to focus and they have to believe in what they are actually doing and they have to continue with their efforts and get proper guidance from their supervisors or people who are involved in that area and they have to focus on a lot of these other work that is being done globally on such related areas and based on that they have to continue their efforts. I mean this product what we developed, the HD Phonodoc, took almost 10 years to come to this stage. I mean the original idea was a much simpler one just to record the hard sounds and uh, play to the doctors better but then it got evolved into a visual display and then it got evolved into this analysis algorithm now with printing and then we have plans to add ECG as well as uh, make it a much more higher yield diagnostic tool and so on so it actually evolves so you just have to focus and uh, be patient and persistent on these efforts and that is what will yield results in the day. Many students do not know how to patent uh, any product. Can you give some tips? It's uh, very easy to file patents. Actually, the Indian patent organization has actually made quite a lot of uh, new ways to actually make the whole process of patenting much, much easier. And uh, once you visit the website for the Indian patent office, then you can actually get a lot of information about it. And uh, there are a lot of uh, question and answers where you can find out what can be patentable, what cannot be patentable, and so on. And once you're clear about that, then it's very easy to just write up your invention and then file a provisional patent in India, which hardly costs less than about 1,000 rupees. And then once you do that, then you have almost a year to file your complete specifications for the patent. And then you actually have another year more before you actually enter into a worldwide PCT stage, which can actually give you the opportunity to file patents in uh, all the countries in the world. You don't have to go each and every country one by one. You just file it in PCT, that is the Patent Cooperation Treaty, and that takes care of the whole world. And then you can determine whether which are the countries you want to pursue and so on. And uh, that is actually a very simplified process. It can all be done through the web also. So that is what uh, you know people should pursue. As a serial inventor, would you like to give any support to the young scientists or would you like to start any forum or get in patents bureau? Definitely. In fact, I'm already working on setting up uh, an organization where a lot of these youngsters who have got interesting ideas, they could actually come and try it out and uh, we actually provide support for these youngsters to actually come and make a prototype out of that and get it to be validated by real experts in the field and uh, also get some guidance on patent protection and so on. And then once that idea really turns out to be, you know, pretty good, then we can actually pursue for, you know, forming a company or however they want to commercially export these kind of patents and so on. So there is definitely a way to do that. In fact, in the last few years, we have been conducting events in major universities in Chennai where, you know, we actually award a cash prize of close to one lakh rupees for the best uh, innovative idea. And then we also give them guidance and support for them to develop this product further and then commercially pursue this. So definitely we will be supporting all such youngsters. Any contact details? Actually, uh, they are most welcome to contact me directly. My email is arvind.tyagi at gmail.com. It's A-R-V-I-N-D dot T-H-I-A-G-Y at gmail.com. So I'll be more than happy to guide them because this is something that is going to ultimately benefit our entire country because as our our president believes that only through innovation we can bring about the economic development in our country. So definitely I'll be more than happy to guide all youngsters on their ideas. Thank you, Aaron, for sharing your thoughts with Party Universal. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for this opportunity and the wish. Thank you, listeners. That was an exclusive interview with Aravind Tyagarajan, a serial inventor. Hope you enjoy this part show. For more updates, Please log on to podiniversal.com. Please send in your suggestions and comments to editor at podiniversal.com. This is Keshi Inwasan, editor of Podiniversal, signing off from the show. Till we meet next, take care and bye.